In this video, I'm going to show you how you can connect to your GoDaddy domain to your Wix website. I'm going to run you through everything step by step. So let's jump into it. So first, we need to go ahead and log into GoDaddy. Then once you're logged in, go to your username in the top right hand corner. Then go to my products. That will redirect you to your domains. So here you can see is my domain. So I'm going to go ahead and click on manage. And that should take us into like the dashboard of this domain. So what I'm first going to do is just copy this domain. Then we need to go to Wix and choose the website that we want to connect the domain to. Now this is important. You need to have a premium plan to Wix. You can see this site is premium. So we're going to use this site. Select an edit site. That will redirect you to your Wix website dashboard. Now what we're going to do is connect a custom domain. So it should be here on the dashboard for you. If not, just go up here and click on connect domain. Okay, so now you can go ahead and enter in your domain. So again, have it copied from GoDaddy, paste it in here, www.knowledgebasehub.com. Let's go. It's going to say here that the domain is already taken. Is it yours? And then I'm going to click yes, I already own this domain. Now it's going to find the domain provider. So it's going to recognize that it's registered at GoDaddy and we can confirm that. OK, so now we can connect the domain. How long does it take? Five minutes, but it can take up to 48 hours for all the changes to be registered. So we, we can now click on start and now we can go ahead and click on start again. So now let's go to GoDaddy and sign in because we've already got our GoDaddy account open. Uh, we can go ahead and skip this step. So now we need to go to DNS management. So because we're already in the dashboard of this domain, we can now go ahead and go to manage domain by quick links, or you can just go to view domain settings. They're both going to take you to relatively similar places. But what you're looking for here is the DNS settings. So click on DNS and that will take you into DNS management. Now we can view knowledgebase.hub. In my case, obviously it will say your domain. Now we can manage the DNS records. Now what you want to do here is you want to scroll down to where it says name servers. So it's using the default name servers, but we want to change this. And we're connecting our domain to a website that we've already built. But we're going to follow the instructions on Wix.com, which tell us to click on enter my own name servers advanced. So enter my own name servers advanced. Now we can go to the next step. Now you just want to copy name server one, which is this one here. So click copy and you can paste it in here. Now we'll do the same again with name server two. So we'll copy this one, paste it in here. Now we can click on save and that should then update the name servers. It's going to tell you that it's risky, but as long as you're following the instructions will be fine. Click continue. And you can see now on the top right, your request is in pro progress. Most name servers take up to 48 hours. So now you've done that, we can go back to Wix and we can verify the connection on Wix's end. So click verify connection and it's going to take up to 30 seconds here. So now if you've done everything right, they're going to say we're checking your domain connection. And again, it can take up to 48 hours to check and to get everything updated. So click here where it says track domain status. And we can just check to see if it's working. Now, again, it can take 48 hours. So let me just go ahead and paste it in here. So it currently isn't working for us. But all you need to do is you need to just keep going to this domains page and just wait up to 48 hours. And eventually it will connect and it will be live worldwide. 